So we just got back from life, the uh, or Flubber, the revenge in space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe, I can see her. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, Flubber. <laughs> it's life, uh, a film that clearly uh, takes a lot of aspects from from some popular movies. Uh, you know, everybody's comparing it to my favorite film of all time, Aliens. Uh, you know, it's got a little bit of gravity in it because oh, yeah. it has very realistic depictions of NASA type astronauts, not not too distant future stuff. So they try to stay grounded in reality mm -hmm. and uh, and some aspects of the thing. So uh, all of these sort of legendary horror movies elements mixed in here uh, and, and tries to come up with this particular formula. So we have um, an international space station who uh, who is rendezvousing with a Martian um, a probe a probe uh, that contains a, a little bit of soil samples and evidently enough some uh, a, a, a alien life form that uh, this international space station filled with uh, lots of different countries Russia China Japan UK America to study this organism of course as you've seen in the trailers the organism uh, doesn't like. really like <laughs> being studied yeah. and shit uh, just hits the fan and all hell breaks loose and you've got this sort of claustrophobic adventure uh, film or horror film uh, on in deep space how are these people gonna get out of here so what did you guys uh, think of the movie with we'll start with beard I liked it. Yeah. That that monster, it, it got to me. Yeah. Like that's a yeah, bad way to die. Yeah. There's some. There's some. <laughs> the way the monster attacks, the way it moves, very well done. Yeah. Uh, how how did you feel about the actors? Oh, they did a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. They were they, they were all on their A game this time. They had some A list actors See, in there. Yeah. yeah, I think that was just to sell some like obviously sell some seats, but sell some tickets. I don't yeah. think uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yes. Yeah. He was kind of pointless to me. Yeah, honestly, I, my, my, I, I think it was solid acting. It was. Uh, but I think what you, maybe what you're trying to hit on is the thin characterization. None of them yeah. were really deep. It was no. it was pretty skin deep. That's it. It oh I you know this guy likes to you know be a li bit of a loose cannon and he's really good at spacewalks and stuff. That's the Ryan Reynolds character. Uh, you know Jake Gyllenhaal's character is he's setting a world record for space. Uh, the, most, the most time spent yeah. in space, so he feels more and more comfortable in space. And then you've got introvert ever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the scientist guy who obviously gets hands on with the creature. You know, uh, first thing I was thinking is like, don't fucking mess with that. Don't yeah. don't be put. Don't be poking the creature. But you know, there's gloves. This is intended to work with the creature. You would get curious too if you were like a biologist. You were like, yeah, I guess you, you would. It's interesting. Okay. We found new life. <laughs> yeah. So there there are some some great effects in this movie some good cinematography yeah. a lot of a lot of really good zero g shots yeah i was i always wonder how the hell they do that so bad yeah <laughs> how do they do it so effectively because it's very expensive there's only two ways i know is you know you, space okay three ways i know <laughs> but you know you've got the, the the plane that when you go yeah. down yeah, you get yeah. a little bit but it's a limited amount of time you have to hurry and there's you have no to put your sets in there there's no way so they got to be on wires but you never see yeah. where these wires could be you are utterly yeah. convinced that they are in space just oh, yeah. like gravity no, the cinematography was great because even in close-up shots where they could fuck that up really mm -hmm. easily yeah like it looked legit the entire time cameras going all over the place it's like damn you don't see any crew so you're fully immersed and that's what the film does a good job of is sort of staying scientifically scientifically grounded and accurate with tools there's no like you know alien colonial marine machine yeah. guns here to take care of this that alien wasn't cool. that I know it would have been <laughs> cool but we've got alien for that right yeah. so here they try to use the tools that are available them and uh, to them in order to stop the creature but uh, I I thought overall it was like um you know it didn't it didn't have an original bone in his body at least yeah in my opinion, I love sci-fi, so I was ready to go out and see this, uh, you know, regardless. 
And I expected maybe uh, something a little uh, more that maybe we haven't seen before, but I'd have to say it's pretty your sp pretty standard B movie. You know, yeah, I thought it was pretty. That well was well scene. executed. Yes. Oh, it's yeah. not as good as Alien or Gravity or Thing, but at the it's got a great twist. It's got some surprises. Uh, good graphics and in oh, terms yeah. of uh, you know making this space station feel real on the inside and, and the outside. claustrophobic. Yeah, that's oh what the film. My God. Yeah, I does can never go to space. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know how they do that. See, that yeah. was one of the things that got me. Is like, it's one thing if you have a creature coming after you. It's another one if you can't get you the fuck can't out because you're, you can't you're go in a space anywhere. like that this small. That played to my fear. I was like, well. <laughs> There's I'm fucked. a lot of realistic, and, and, yeah. and you know the the times where you're as a moviegoer, you're saying, well, uh, don't they have communication with Earth? Don't don't doesn't Earth have some backup protocols? And you get to see a little bit of yeah. that in the film. So I don't know. I think it was a great blend of a lot of different things uh, for sci-fi fans, but it may not have uh, enough to offer other audiences that are probably you know not particularly receptive. To sci-fi, do you think it would convince that. those people? Yeah, I think it'd be good for horror buffs too, because it yeah. seems like a pretty good horror. Yeah, it is a good monster movie. Yeah. It's basically what it is, a monster movie. And you've seen the creature in the trailer, how essentially it starts from a smaller creature. But this thing keeps growing and growing, and I think it was an interesting design. Though I do lament the fact that there's no real practical effects when it comes to the creature. It's yeah. all 100% CGI, and so in that instance, it, it, it maybe it's slightly less effective. I would have hoped at some oh. point to get a practical you know, tentacle or whatnot, but... Well, either way, the CGI mm -hmm. was really good. It was, it, it was, was. It was It was really good. It was convincing, and they had some interesting uh, uh, takes on, you know, what the creature eats or what the creature wants, and, uh, you know, at times you almost feel like, you know, maybe it's not particularly evil, you know? It's just kind of doing its own thing. You pissed him yeah, off. Yeah, an animal, yeah. And, you know, he's trying to survive and you're trying to survive. So they got a lot of different Survival elements in the there. Fittest, yeah. right? So yeah. let's go with the final verdict. Short little review here for you. And uh, we'll start with other Joe this time. I'm going to have to give this an 8. All right. An 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Good pacing. Mm -hmm. I really like the monster. and. Without spoiling it. anything, yes. how did you like the ending? <laughs> Uh, did you like I, it or hate it? I, I did like it. I okay. Did like yeah, it. Ultimately, yeah. you liked it. It's <laughs> it's one of those that we don't get very often. I'll say that much. Yes. And and you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And in this instance, I think I've seen enough films where I'm like, okay, uh, I'm I down with that. it. <laughs> what about you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a nine. Nine. All it's, right. It's a solid movie. Well, I know you're a big sci-fi yeah. fan. Yeah. So. Huge sci-fi and horror. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, it, it was it was great. It was extremely entertaining, and it did not hold any punches. Like it had some balls, which I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I agree. It was a, it was a fantastic film, though. I think I'll give it about a seven, just because I was hoping for a little bit more originality. There were some interesting things they could do with the creature. Uh, you know, try to surprise the audience in different ways. A few characters, kind of. You know, fell short. Fell short, right? There, there's not that much characterization. And if you're not gonna go with these fantastical fantasy elements, then you've got to kind of surprise the audience in some other way. They did a little bit of that at the end, uh, which I really respect the film for. You really don't see that happen a lot, but. Uh, I'd say the intro was great, but it kind of fell into the tropes of monster movies. Just in this fantastic setting in space yeah. that we're all really into. Uh, but I think as uh, as time will show, it's just you know a good movie. It's not average. It's, it's above average, but it's just it's a good movie, and it didn't really add anything of its own to horror mythos or sci-fi mythos. But I, I do think it's worth seeing. People like us. You should go out in the theater yeah. and see this. You, you won't be uh, dissatisfied. Did you feel like you wasted no, no, money? No. 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 Especially not at a no. 9 out of 10. <laughs> so you do recommend go, go oh, yeah. see it. Absolutely. Much, much better than Power Rangers. 
I like Power Rangers too. Yeah, I remember that. It's a different genre. Seven, seven, eight. For me, you know, Power Rangers four, five, six is the range. I ultimately went with four because I felt that there was too much. But this is is better than that, in my opinion. So seven out of ten. Uh, go to see it if you are fans of sci-fi, aliens, gravity thing. It's not gonna be quite that good, but it's definitely worth your time if you're a fan of those. So okay, guys, we'll see you on the next. Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. <clears throat>